Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, we will take a look at the Apple Watch Watch OS 2. Now, if you already own an Apple Watch, it is running on Watch OS 1. Watch OS 2 will be the refined update coming to Apple Watch this fall, so be on the lookout. But let's dive in right now and get an early look at the new features available on Watch OS 2 for Apple Watch. Let's start with number one, my absolute favorite three brand new watch faces one of them which is called time lapse now the time lapse watch face allows you to pick a watch face featuring a time lapse video from five iconic locations in the world including hong kong uh, mac lake new york shanghai and london so basically you go, you go into the customization screen right over here and then using the crown you can pick whichever city that you want to enjoy as your watch face. So let's uh, tap on Shanghai. And basically when you pick a watch face, it starts from the daytime and then simply time lapses to the time that the watch is actually showing, showing you some nighttime action. If it is daytime, you'll get a daytime time lapse video. And of course, if you keep watching the video, if you keep tapping on the screen so the watch face remains awake, you can loop through the entire day of time lapse. And number two, you can basically use any photo you have in your photo album on your Apple Watch to create a watch face. So let's go to our photo album right now, right over here. And let's say that I want to pick one of these pictures and turn it into a watch face. All you do is you tap on the picture, you press and hold, you force touch, and you tap create watch face. You get a quick quick preview and immediately you get a brand new watch face. This is currently my watch face. Now the other thing I can do with this guy is if I go back into the photos application over here, photos app, and I can actually zoom this in a little bit and I can turn this zoomed in version of the picture into a watch face as well. So again, force press, boom. And that's the zoomed in version. And if I tap and hold to customize the watches, they actually stay right here. So this is the, the regular one, and this is the zoomed in version. All righty, as you can see, they're slightly different, but it's the same exact photo. One is zoomed in, one is not zoomed in. Now, once you create a single photo watch face, there's something else you can do. You can tap and hold on that watch face to bring up the customization screen, tap on customize, and from here, you can actually flip through the pictures in your photo album. You can also use the crown to zoom in and zoom out and then from the um, photo album again you can tap on any picture and turn that into a watch face. So there are multiple ways to customize this single photo watch face. And the third watch face they added was the photo album watch face. So let's tap and hold again and scroll to the side and press the uh, plus button to add a brand new watch face. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that there's a photo album watch face. Basically what happens is if you tap this, this becomes your watch face. But every time your uh, watch goes to sleep and it wakes up and you flicker your wrist, you're going to see a brand new photo from your actual photo album. So the watch just turned off. If I tap it to wake it, it's going to be a brand new picture from my photo album that I picked. All right, so the next feature I want to talk about is called the time travel. So basically, by using the crown, you can glance into the future, all righty, and see your upcoming appointments or other events. Now, time travel works with watch faces that have complications. Complications are these things right over here, okay? So if I tap and hold, click customize, these things are complications. I can add the calendar, I can add things like battery life, I can add things like the stopwatch or the weather. Alrighty? So with the uh, complications, uh, complications enable watch face, I can use the crown to glance into the future, even to the past. So if I go into the future, as you can see, that's the blue. I can also go back in time, and it told me what I did from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock, which was a payment that I had to make on a uh, credit card. And then um, if I go into the future, appointment 1 at 9.30, if I keep going, appointment 2, and if I keep going, you'll see appointment number 3 from 11.30 to 12.30. So you get the idea. You can 
glance into the future to see your upcoming appointments or you can even glance into the future to see what the weather is going to look like in a couple hours from now just by using the watch face and the crown pretty fantastic this is called time travel another feature that has been enhanced in the apple watch os 2 is if you press the side button that brings up brings up the menu where you can access your friends and these are the most contacted friends that you can add to your apple watch and as you know in Apple Watch OS 1, you would have to actually use the Apple Watch application on your iPhone to add friends. In Apple Watch OS 2, you can simply pick any of these uh, available slots, press the plus button, and add a friend on the fly right on your Apple Watch, which is pretty, pretty um, uh, fantastic. Alrighty, and again, you're not limited to 12 friends only. You can actually add multiple pages of friends. So you're not going to be limited to 12 friends. You can add 24, 36, 48, many, many more, which is absolutely fantastic as well. And the final feature is the nightstand mode. So if your Apple Watch is charging and sitting sideways, as you can see in the screen, it automatically activates the nightstand mode, which shows you, as you can see, the battery charge level the time, the date, and the upcoming alarms, if any. Now, if one of your alarms actually starts ringing, you have the option to either turn it off by pressing the crown or snoozing it by pressing the side button, as I just did. And that's gonna make it snooze for nine minutes, and you're gonna keep snoozing until you only have five minutes to get to work. So that brings us to the end of this video. So those are the top features on Apple Watch OS 2. Remember, it's coming to all consumers this fall as a brand new update to your existing Apple Watch. Subscribe to my channel for updates. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and every other social network you can. All the links are in the description below. Have a great day.